Assalamu alaikum. I am Nilpari Yasmin. Hello my dear students. How are you? I hope you are well and safe. Dear students, I am a science teacher. Welcome to my online class. Today I will discuss with you chapter 10, motion. Part 2. Dear students, this is also a repeat class. By end of this lesson, you will be able to what is translational motion, how many types of translational motion, what is rotational motion, what is periodic motion. Now I discuss with you translational motion. Translational motion is the motion when an object moves in such a way that all the particles or points of the object traverse the same distance in the same direction, taking the same time. I repeat it again. Translational motion is the motion when an object moves in such a way that all the particles or points of the object traverse the same distance in the same direction, taking the same time. Motion may be classified into different kinds. They are translational, rotational or circular motion, complex or translational motions, periodic motions, vibratory or oscillatory motions. Translational motion definition I also discuss with you. Suppose a box is being pushed on the floor to take it somewhere. Dear students, please take your science copy. Please take your textbook. Page number 99. Translational motion. Suppose a box is being pushed on the floor to take it somewhere. The box has been shifted from A to B. Dear students, you can see a picture in your textbook, page number 99, figure 10.3. The box has been shifted from A to B and the point C of the lower portion of the box has been moved to point D. All the points of the box have been displaced in the same direction, traveling the same distance CD. This is an example of translational motion. I repeat it again. Suppose a box is being pushed on the floor to take it somewhere. The box has been shifted from A to B and the point C of the lower portion of the box has been moved to point D. All the points of the box has been displaced in the same direction traveling the same distance CD. This is an example of translational motion. Hence, translational motion is the motion when an object moves in such a way that all the particles or points of the object Travels the same distance in the same direction taking the same time. Therefore, you are in motion along with the word. That means you are moving. Dear students, you can see a task. Collect one brick. Keep the brick at a definite point A on the table in your decks. Mark the point of the front and back edge of the brick by drawing line on the table with the chalk. Or a pencil 
or a marker pen. Now push the object in a forward direction and take it to a definite distance. Measure the distance between the point of front edge marked on the table to the new position of the point of front edge and also distance between marked point and the new position of back edge point. You will find both the distance the same. Similarly, if you measure the distance of the middle point to the new middle point, you will find the same distance. The motion of the drawer of a table, the motion of a box sliding along an inclined plane and the motion of the hand while writing. All of these are translational motions. Translational motion may be divided into two kinds. I'll repeat it again. Translational motion may be divided into two kinds. Number one, rectilinear motion and curvilinear motion. Rectilinear motion and curvilinear motion. When we write our hand travels in a straight line for some times, and again show different curve lines in other times. When an object travels in a straight line, it is called rectilinear motion. When an object travels in a straight line, it is called rectilinear motion. Again, when an object travels through curved line, the motion is called linear line motion. So dear students, I hope you know about rectilinear and curvilinear motion. Okay, please turn over your face. Here is also a task, page number 100. Tell one of your brother or sisters to work straight from one end to the other end of your room. This is rectilinear motion. Tell another brother or sister to work from one end to another point of your room in a zigzag way. This is curvilinear motion. Now I discuss with you rotational motion. Dear students, you can see a picture of rotational motion, figure 10.6. Observe the motion of the ceiling fan of your room. See the picture. Here for the rotation of the blades of the rotating electric fan displays point A to the point A prime, point B to the point B prime and point C to the point C prime. All points of the fan do not follow the same path but every point of the fan revolves round the center of the fan in a circular path making the same angle with different radius. This motion of the fan is rotational. Observe the rotational motion by moving a fan. I repeat it again. Observe the motion of the ceiling fan of your room. See the picture here for the rotation of the blades of the rotating electric fan. Displace point A to the point A prime. Point B to the B prime, point B prime, and point C to the point C prime. All points of the fan do not follow the same path, but every point of the fan revolves round to the center of the fan in a circular path, making the same angle with different radius. 
This motion of the fan is rotational motion. Observe the rotational motion by moving a fan. Here, here is also a task. Go to the field or yard of your home. Strongly board a pole of bamboo in the ground. Holding the pole lightly by one hand, continue to rotate around the pole. This motion is the example of rotational motion. Lesson 6 Translatory motion or complex motion You must have noticed the motion of your bicycle's wheel. The wheel of the cycle proceeds or traverses a path by continuous rotation. This type of motion has rotational as well as translational motion. This motion is called translatory or complex motion. The motion of the rolling ball and drill machine are the examples of translatory motion. I repeat it again. You must have noticed the motion of your bicycle's wheel. The wheel of the cycle proceeds or traverses a path by continuous rotation. This type of motion has rotational as well as translational motion. This motion is called translatory or complex motion. The motion of the rolling ball and drill machine are the examples of translatory motion. Here is also a task. Tell one of your brother or sisters to ride a bicycle in your home. During movement of the cycle, observe the motion of the wheel. What the two wheels are doing? The wheels are rotating. What are the wheels rotating around? Is any distance traversed by the wheels? The two wheels are rotating round their center points and every time they are traversing some distance. Here, both rotational and translational motions are working together. This is an example of translatory motion. Dear students, now I discuss with you Lesson 7, Periodic Motion. Observe the motion of the hand of a clock. The hand of second rotates round its center once in a minute. The hand is rotating continuously in one direction and its motion is repeated. This kind of motion is periodic motion. Remember the four round race of your school's annual athletic competition. Suppose you remain standing at one corner of the field. One sprinter of four round race will cross you four times from the same direction after certain definite intervals of time. It is also periodic motion. The motion of clock hands, round rays, electric fan, etc. are examples of periodic motion. Dear students, definition of periodic motion is if an object travels a certain distance of its path from the same direction after certain definite intervals of time repeatedly. The motion is called periodic motion. Here is also a task for you. Page number 101. Go to the field of your home or yard.
you keep standing at a certain place till one of your brother or sisters to catch your hand till another friend or brother or sisters to stand at an equal distance from both of you you stand still at your place and tell your brother or sisters to move around you in uniform motion the brother or sister catching your hand passes you standing brother or sister from the same direction repeatedly after certain definite intervals of time this motion is a periodic motion now give examples of some such periodic motion from your day to day experience so dear students no more today Please note down today's homework. Make children MCQ from chapter 10, lesson 5 to 7. If you have any inquiry, please contact with me. Thank you.